Hello children, how are you all? Hope you all are fine. Here is your science teacher and uh, I'm going to teach you your first chapter of your syllabus that is flower and its pollination. In this chapter, we will learn about parts of a flower, types of a flower and the third one, third topic is pollination. Okay. Now one by one we are going to elaborate this. First, we will study about parts of flower. Now, one by one, I am going to tell you about each part. Basically, this is a complete flower. Okay, complete means where four types of structures are present. A flower in which all four types of structures are present. Now, what are the four types of structures? One is the sepal. Second is the petal, third is the androecium or you can say stamen and fourth is this big part that is called the gynoecium okay or you can also call it pistil. Now you see number one part sepal, number two petal, number three stamen and number four pistil. Now pistil you can see here it is also divided into three parts stigma, style and ovary and here you can see that this portion that is called the stamen that also is divided into two parts that is filament and the anther. Now when we talk about the complete flower here you can see that everything is arranged in a circular path. Circular path means you can see here a small circle is shown on your screen and here you can see that the uh, circles are there. Okay, so whenever you are, you might have seen the um, flower also, you have seen that the structures are arranged in a circular way. Okay, like outside ring is there, they are having the green structure, then inside that is the attractive part of the flower called the petals, then inside again that is called the stamen and that the middle portion that is the center that is called the pistil. Okay, now here you can see that this structure is known as the complete flower. If one thing is missing, either this circle is missing or this portion is missing, so it will be known as the incomplete flower. Now first we will see the structure of each part. Sepal that seems green in color okay and it is the outer part then after that there will be petal and it is the green uh, it is not the green exactly it is of different color it might be red it might be pink it might be yellow it might be orange and that's why there are different colors of flowers okay just because of this petal okay because this is having bright colors okay now next the third part is the stamens okay stamens and then here comes the pistil now we will see the function of each of the part one by one first is a sepal as you see it is green in color okay so that means it is having some green substance in it okay and when you have noticed ever the flower this portion is very hard also okay and also during the bud stage, when the flower is in the bud form, this portion only covers the bud. Okay, so outside it is covering, it is covering of the bud and helps in the protection of the bud. Because you see the bud is very delicate one. Okay, very delicate and it can damage very easily. Okay, so sepals work is what? To protect the flower in the initial stage that is called the bud form. Now next portion is the petal. Petal as I have said that it is a brightly colored one. Okay. So obviously when it is the colored one it will attract you. Now, as you are getting attracted towards the petals that oh this flower is so nice, so colorful flower you, you used to say this. Okay. In the same way insects and the birds are also getting attracted just and just, just because of this petal. Okay. They are uh, getting attracted just because of the petals and because of this attraction they reach to the uh, 
flower and they suck the nectar okay so this is about the petals understood now third is the stamen stamen is the main reproductive part of the flower okay and it is divided into two parts anther and filament okay and it inside this anther there will be pollen a powdery substance is present inside whenever you are touching the flower sometimes a powdery substance comes in your fingers and get stick to it so that is a small small balls like a structure that is called the pollen and the last one which you are seeing that is the middle portion that is the female reproductive part of the flower okay female reproductive part and it is divided into three what is that stigma that is the upper part style that is the middle one and the big swollen part that is called the ovary and inside the ovary there will be a small small balls like a structure and that is called the ovule and one more greeny structure you can see this is called the pedicel what does this pedicel do this is the structure this pedicel connects the flower to the main plant okay so you have seen that somewhere the plant uh, is attached with the flower with a stick uh, stick kind of structure or stalk kind of structure and that is called the depending on the uh, now here we will study about the types of flowers okay so according to the reproductive roles that means the middle portion that means the stigma and the style as you have studied earlier okay so uh, there are two kinds of flowers unisexual flowers and bisexual flowers that means if any flower is having either only the pistil or only the stamen that means in both of the reproductive parts only one part is present either male or female that is called the unisexual flowers and they are corn papaya and cucumber okay these all are the unisexual flowers and another type of flower is bisexual flower okay so in that uh, when both the stamen and the pistil that means more both male and female reproductive parts are present in that flower in that uh, uh, flower so that is called the bisexual like mustard okay mustard is having the bisexual flower so children i think you all have understood this chapter uh, and this portion and uh, if you are having any doubts or any kind of query you can go to the comment box and write over there and uh, i'll answer you anytime thank you take care